Hi and welcome to the latest episode of Peacemake TV. In this quick Reaper video we're going to take a look at how we can work with punching in and out where we want to create slight overdubs in our recordings. So I've got a session open with multiple tracks and on this particular guitar track I've got most of it recorded the way I want but there's a certain little passage that I want to adjust. Now if I hit the record option at this point in time what I'll do is I'll create a second take that sits inside that same track. So the solo guitar track would now have two takes in it. And if I did a third one, I'd have a third take and a fourth take and so on. That's great if you want to create full takes and then you can chop and change between them and pull out the best parts. But let's just say I want to just punch in and make one alteration to it. Well, the easiest way of doing that is adjusting the way the record function works. What we can do is if I take it down onto the transport controls and over the right, mus uh, the right the record button, and right click you can see we've got three options available to us at this point in time we're in normal record mode which like I say will create individual takes on this one particular track we've then got the option for record mode time selection auto punch and auto punch selected items so what we're going to look at is we're going to take a look at the time selection auto punch and how that works so I'm going to switch this over into that mode by selecting that from the right menu and you see now the record button has changed so we've got this indicator that we're in a different mode and if we right click again and choose the third option the auto punch selected items you can see we've now got a dif different symbol again and go back to the normal and we're back to the normal record button so I switch it back into time selection auto punch and the next thing we need to do is create a selection and that's going to specify where we want to punch in on our recording so let's just zoom in um, for this example I'm going to say well this passage isn't sitting quite right in the record and I want to try that again so if I just create a selection now I've got snap enabled at this point in time if I unselect that I can fine tune this to make sure I got exactly where I want and only the part that I want so there we go I'll switch my snapping back on so the next thing I can do is if I hit record you'll see this will now operate in a slightly different fashion Okay, so we're ready now to start the punch in. First thing I need to do is ensure that the right track is enabled for recording. So I'll uncheck the recording option for that particular track and arm the correct track. And now once I hit the record button, you'll find that when we go through this first section that isn't part of our time selection, nothing will happen. It'll play back as we'd expect it to if we had the, the monitoring on. But once we actually get to this time selection, you'll find that the recording will start. And then once we go past it, it'll stop. So it allows us to punch in and only record this little segment, but we can hit the record button at any point beforehand and hear our playback. So I'll hit the record button and you'll find now that we'll scroll through and once we get to the point where we've got the time selection, we'll see the record head will kick in and as you can see now we've started recording. Obviously we've got nothing to record at this point, so nothing's input. But once it gets to the end of that, it cuts out and only that selection will be affected. So you can see what that's done now is it's created two takes inside that small time selection. So I can switch back and forth between the different takes to, to test them out, see which one I think is, is, is the best way of working. And also we can loop this, we can create a loop and it'll keep on going back and forth through. So it's a great way of being able to just do the overdubs that you want without sacrificing the, the flexibility of being able to just hit the record button when you want so you can time yourself into it, you can play along and only when you get to the point where you want the punch in that will be recorded and nothing else. Well I hope you found this quick tip useful I hope it'll help speed up your recording process and your overdubbing process if you found this useful hit the subscribe button below and until next time take care